Hi, I'm Dr. Sam Chang. I'm a child and adolescent psychiatrist. And um, one, one of the most common questions I get from young people and families are, if I have ADHD that was diagnosed, uh, what are the pros and cons of treatment? Uh, what are the good things might happen and what are the bad things might happen? Now, before we answer that, I think the most important thing to understand is that ADHD is what we call a neurodevelopmental disorder. What that means is that it's a brain development issue where there's, uh, there's been shown to be some delays in the development of the brain. And because of that, a lot of the um, um, impairment that comes comes from that type of difficulty where the young person is functioning at a level below what they're capable of. And so treatment really helps you to, to reverse that. Um, basically, it allows us to not only do well at school, but to improve our social functioning. Um, our, um, uh, it helps us to be able to learn better, so we can build some of those skills deficits that we have. And of course, in the long term, we also know that people with ADHD that's not treated have a much higher risk for developing other bigger things that might be a problem for them. Things like mood and anxiety problems, uh, substance use problems, um, and even motor vehicle accidents. And we know that all of those things tend to get better if they're well treated. Now, as far as the side effects of the medications go, but the big worry that usually people have, um, side effects are generally pretty mild and generally quite well tolerated. It can be worked around. Uh, so I think that on the balance, um, of course we have to look at um, the risk. We also have to look at the risks of no treatment. And I think combining those two risks, it's the, the risks certainly come down on the side of making sure that there's good treatment. And by the way, good treatment doesn't just include medicine. It includes other sorts of um, treatments and therapies, especially building some skills. So for example, teaching parents how to work with their kids, teaching kids how to build some social skills and to learn how to use it with their friends and other kids at school, um, teaching them how to have a regular, what we call social rhythm. That means going to sleep regularly, getting up, eating well, exercising. Those are extremely important things because when you do those things, we grow the brain. So we don't just grow the brain necessarily with just the medicine. We also grow the brain with the things that we do around the young person.